Lesson 12.4, quadratic inequalities graphically. Very similar to the absolute value inequalities graphically. We're just trying to figure out if it's above or below the line. <clears throat> so on number one, they're graphing the 1 7 times x minus 2 quantity squared minus 5. As soon as you see an x being squared, that makes it a quadratic, which is going to make this u parabola shape. That's what it's called. So in purple is the quadratic, then I have y equals two in red, horizontal line, and it wants to know where are these values gonna be greater than two. And so if you're thinking greater than, you're thinking above the line. So that would be here and here. And again, remember, you're just worried about the x values. So where they intersect straight down and straight down. And so you can tell this is an or answer to be this one. And then number two, same thing, where they plotted two different ones. And this time we want to know where is the um, quadratic function less than negative two. So where is it below the line? Would be in here. So it would be from where they intersect. It looks like x is zero. Oh, that's at one. I don't know what happened to my thing. Sorry. x is one and then to nine. Oh, I'm on the wrong. <laughs> Oops, I did the wrong one, that's why. That is supposed to be the line y equals negative two, I did the x-axis. So their point of intersection is here at one, and then here looks like at nine. And it's an and is really all you need to know, and so it'd be the second option. Okay, so I don't think we need to do all of these I again contemplated just solving them, but actually on the next lesson we'll be doing that, so I don't want to take uh, too much time. Let's just try one of them here. Number three, remember you go to y equals, and again you could use Desmos if you wanted to, clear out any old functions. You're going to have to put parentheses, x plus 4 squared minus 2, and then you would just put in y equals 23. Um, the highest thing I need to go for my y's is 23. So let's just keep negative 10 to 10, count by 1. And then let's go negative 10, let's say to 30, count by 2's. And I just want to know where is this quadratic greater than 23? So I would want the or, because it's these two um, rays here, and I would just figure out where they intersect. So I'd go second calc intersect, I'm going to find this one first, make sure you're somewhere over close to the point of intersection, you hit enter, then I'm on this one, I'm going to go to the left of it, hit enter, enter one more time, that tells me it's negative 9, comma 23, okay, other one, over closer, somewhere there, this one, Enter, enter. That's at 123. So x values need to be less than negative 9 or greater than 1. Okay, so I don't think I'm even going to do number 4. Um, the only thing on the multiple choice is I don't want you assuming on this one that it's going to be... Um, an and because actually you would divide out a negative one. So if I were to solve this, I would factor this side. Well, first I'd get it set equal to zero, I'd factor. So if you think about this, the leading coefficient being a negative means the parabola is upside down. And then this being negative 33, let me just draw a line, horizontal line. We want to know where is it going to be less than or below. That's actually going to be an or. So again, that's not going to stay an and because you would divide by a negative, flipping the symbol. So it's an or. So right away I know it's not option three or four. Then it would be a matter of you just graphing or looking on Desmos and seeing where this x value is and this x value is. And the good thing is, since this is multiple choice, I could graph them both and just see where that's at. Like this, I just arrowed this thing kind of close to where this point of intersection is, and I'm like 2.97, that's basically three. So it would be x values greater than three. It'd be this one. So that can speed you up too. 
on number six, since there's no negative in front to divide by, this is going to be an and. Because this is positive, say my parabola opens up, and then I'll have my horizontal line, and I want to know where is this function less than 12. So it would be all below. It's going to be between here and here. So take out the ors. You could graph it real quick and just see where you think the points of intersection are. Look like this, and then I could just kind of guess here. Let's see. I've got to be between. I'm sure this is already, yep, yeah, this is way past negative. Uh, this is saying x is greater than what? Negative 3 halves would be negative 1.5. Look, I'm all the way back here at negative 4. So x has got to be between negative 4 and 1.5. So it'd be that one. <laughs>